That's a tough one. Mm. We'll go optics. We'll go optics. We'll go in to do the town tax. But I might, depending on if the T-54 lightweight is spotted or the WZ spotted. I might, uh... Just peek and see if I can see anything. Let me just explain a couple of things that I said there. So firstly, the optics pick. Now, taking optics and having view range can be really, really important if you are a bottom tier tank, especially in a tank such as the KV-13, where even the premium pen isn't amazing against the kind of tanks that you're gonna be facing, in this case, tier nines. Being able to spot is a really, really important thing, and you might possibly be able to spot one little thing and be able to do 15, 1600 spotting in one go, and that's pretty much being able to retain the mark. So up here at 94% in the roundabouts in a bottom tier matchup, it is really important. Now, secondly, the town tax. What do I mean by we're gonna do the town tax? Now, we're gonna be taking a position uh, that's kind of on the border between C and B4, in the corner of the mini town and basically what this allows us to do is look right the way along to the map border at b1 and allows us to shoot anybody going into the town i call it the town tax because you have to pay a small amount of your hp to be able to get into and fight in the town Inverse town tax. The, what? The town tax is me. Now, this time, the town tax play hasn't really worked as well as it sometimes does. Sometimes you get a lot of heavies cross into the town, but on this occasion, nothing has really happened. You can see our team has now basically pushed the entire A line out and are now pushing into the B line. The enemy team are quite happy sitting in the C line just behind the row of houses, which is where this position doesn't really work so well. So I now need to start to gamble. I need to... Um, I'm going to try and provide a little bit of spotting because every now and again you can spot the uh, tanks up on the ridge line. You can occasionally get shots of the heavies backing off as you can see here. Um, but then I'm probably going to make the gamble to push up. Pushing up, again, that's where my optics will come into play and potentially allow me to spot things like the WT or uh, the Shark TVP that might be spotting behind the house in kind of the G3 slash 4 position.
It was a bit of a gamble to kill the 777 there, but realistically the only person that could shoot me of the heavies was the VZ, and that's not a huge amount of damage to take. And if anybody else wanted to shoot me like the Carnarvon or the Super Hellcat, it would have had to have been a very big overpeak into me, probably risking taking a lot of damage from my heavies. WT's got to be on, um... He can't be there, surely not. He's got, he's got to be on... on JK line. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. For the mark. Huge. <clears throat> bada bing, bada boom. Too painful chat, a little bit towards, well, a lot at the start and then a little bit towards the end of tonight, but all in all, wasn't too bad. All in all, not too bad. What was our damage like today in the end? 1800. What does that put us to overall? 1944. Not too bad, you know. Three mark in 65 games? That's not too shabby. That's honestly not too shabby. Was it more fun than KV-85? Yes, because the gun depression wasn't an insane issue. It wasn't great, but it wasn't like... I think because of the tank, you can kind of work around it a bit more. Moving on, if we bring up the ratings, we'll go through what I think of the KV-13. So firstly, for overall tank rating, I've gone for a 3 out of 5. It's right down the middle, like... The tank isn't amazing, the tank isn't awful, like, it's a fairly solid tank, to be honest with you, but I wouldn't say it's particularly special. Uh, good parts of the tank, uh, it's fairly mobile, as you saw, and it does have kind of trolley armor, especially in a top-tier matchup. In a matchup such as this, you can't rely on your armor whatsoever. Uh, bad parts of the tank, though, the gun, the penetration's not amazing, and the gun itself isn't amazing, amazing. Poor gun depression as well, um, a typical Russian thing, only 5 degrees, which is kind of sad, but as I was saying at the end, at least it's not the KV-85. Now, for ease of marking, you'd therefore be surprised, I've gone for a 5 out of 5. Probably the first 5 out of 5 I've given so far for ease of marking. As you saw, I did this tank in uh, 65 games or something. For me, that's that's really good. It, it's just, yeah, because there's so few people that play the vehicle. The requirements aren't particularly high. And like I say, it's not a bad tank, really. The only thing I will say with the ease of marking, if next week, like... 10 good players decide that they want to mark it because of the low player numbers 
the mark would probably shoot up by quite a lot, maybe not 10, but you know what I'm saying. It would have to be a relatively low number of good players play the vehicle for not that long for the mark to probably shoot up quite a lot just because of the low overall player numbers. And finally, for marking experience, I've gone for a 4 out of 5. So really not bad, like a good um, marking experience. The only things that kind of let it down, like I said before, in a top tier, uh, sorry, in a bottom tier matchup, it can be difficult sometimes with the gun. Uh, your armor doesn't really count for a lot. So yeah, and probably the biggest thing that drags it down is the gun depression. Like it just makes the tank very, very, very inflexible in most situations. But if you are used to playing Russian vehicles, it's not the end of the world. But outside of that, honestly, not too bad. I didn't have too much of an issue with the vehicle. I had a little bit of a stall around, I think it was 92 or 93, but that was really it. As per always, thank you for all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, If you have enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As I said before as well, please make sure uh, you let me know in the comments if you think I should do anything better or anything different with these videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.